What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to give you a just kind of a overview of what we saw yesterday with the uh, the Elder Scrolls Online reveal event for kind of the DLC for the year, the kind of the theme for the year. Of course, this year uh, or this time of year is always really exciting for you know ESO fans because this is when we get info about you know the big story DLC that comes out in the summer, some of the other DLC that we can expect, the changes, all that kind of stuff. Before I hop into it. Just be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. This year's theme for the kind of the whole year will be the Gates of Oblivion. And they did give us some details on the first two quarters of DLC, Flames of Ambition, which will be the first DLC that comes out in March, March 8th for PC and Mac and March 16th for Xbox One and PS4. Also on March the 8th for the Stadia. This will be the first DLC, kind of a dungeon DLC. Same concept as every year where you get four different DLCs throughout the year. And then of course in June, the big story DLC, which will be Blackwood. This will be June the 1st on PC and Mac and Stadia and June the 8th on Xbox One and PS4. Of course, the chapter all begins with the new adventures, uh, kind of for you to enjoy. Is kind of how they described it. A new zone, which of course will be Blackwood. New main storylines, a new companion system, a new 12-player trial, new world events, which we usually have had world events over the last several years. This year is going to be Oblivion Portals, New Delves, Public Dungeons, World Bosses, and Standalone Quest, updates, and quality of life improvements. Now, I kind of want to just give you some ideas of some takeaways that I uh, kind of uh, got personally or, you know, just some opinions, that some things that I saw from this reveal event. Before I get into that, be sure, guys, uh, if you want some in-depth details about all the new stuff or just ESO in general, I'm going to highly recommend Nephis on YouTube. He streams. He also has a website that has builds and things like that. Always a great guy to go hang out with on, on Twitch because he, if you have any questions about ESO, he is, has some incredible knowledge about the game. A lot more knowledgeable and a lot better at the game than I am. Uh, does a lot of trials and dungeons and things like that. And if you guys have not seen his uh, content, I'm going to link his uh, info down in the description below so you can give him a look. And I would highly recommend that because I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you do not know who he is if you are in the ESO community. Personally, for me, I always look at you know all of these new uh, DLCs and things when I come out with them about things you can do solo. Because I play on PS4, of course, and I have played Trials. I have played you know some difficult dungeons and things like that. But mainly if I play Dungeons, I solo them or play with a couple of friends. Uh, if I play Trials, it's usually just kind of a pug group, uh, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Uh, I'm not in you know any kind of big guild that has like a, you know, a big Trials team or anything like that. I usually just focus on story, kind of finding things, adventuring, uh, you know, selling stuff in, in the trader. And that's kind of where I get my enjoyment out of the game. Everybody has different parts of the game they like. Some people love to run Trials. So I think this year's DLC, once again, has something for everyone. And I think the team, the devs, of course, over uh, with the Zenimax, have done a good job, once again, of adding things for everyone to enjoy uh, throughout the year. The one big disappointment that I had was there's still no word on the official release date of the next-gen version of the game, which is still really no concern for me or probably a lot of people if you're in the same boat that I am. You cannot find a new-gen console yet. But I did make a video several, several months ago talking about the game coming to next gen, there being a new gen version of the game. Apparently, it's still in the works. Apparently, it's going really well, but just no official date on that just yet. The new companion system I thought was pretty interesting. There are other RPG MMO style games with companions. And pretty much following suit with those style games, you will be able to, uh, you know, kind of load out, put gear, make a build for your companion. You can make them tanks, DPSs, healers. This is going to be interesting to see how this is going to work in Trials and Dungeons. PvP, I'm not sure if they're going to be allowed in all areas of the map. Some people think they will be. Some people think they won't be uh, allowed in the world just everywhere. But I'm sure out in the open world, just you know, running around, you're going to see people with companions everywhere. And this is really good for solo players because then they can have a companion with them that can help out. Also, if you are on PC, they did announce that the public test server will start, of course, today, which today is Wednesday uh, January the 27th, so make sure you check that out if you are on PC. Uh, the new champion point system, this is something I think that a lot of people are, some people are happy about, some people are not so happy about. I think there needed to be a new champion point system. We've had the champion points we have now for a long time, or the system we have now for a long time. Uh, a lot of people are concerned because it's going to be uncapped pretty much, or a 3600 CP kind of idea. And I think a lot of people are worried because they don't have 3600 CP. 
I mean, personally, I don't have quite a thousand CP myself, but from what I understand, if you're anywhere between a thousand, twelve hundred, sixteen hundred, that kind of thing, it's going to be a soft cap around there. It's not going to allow you to use every single bit of your CP from what I understand. So a lot of people are saying, don't worry, don't panic. Uh, you know, you're still going to be able to be strong and do damage and that kind of thing and, and participate in things. Just because you don't have 3,600 CP doesn't mean you're going to be left out. Uh, they said, you know, you're going to still be able to participate in a lot of stuff. So I'm interested to see this new champion point system. I think this is a great addition to the game because once this is added in, I think it will be able to uh, do things with, uh, you know, classes and, and races and things later on. I think this needed to be fixed before the rest was looked at. And last but not least, they did do some changes to light, medium, and heavy armor. That will now... Uh, have positive and kind of negative effects to it. You will get some things out of that cause instead of just, you know, your normal light, heavy, or medium gear, depending on what kind of class you are. So I thought that was also a very good idea. Overall, I think, the uh, like I said, the team at Zenimax has done a good job, once again, with adding things in for, you know, trials players, dungeon players, you know, just open world ex exploration style players that play solo. Uh, I, I think everything this year is going to, or everything they're putting out this year is going to have something for everyone. And uh, like I said, you, you've got to change up things, in my opinion. Uh, you can't leave. The game's been out for a long time. It looks like it's going to continue to be out for a long time. And you can't just leave the same stuff in the game year in and year out. You have to mix it up some, make some quality of life changes. And I think they're definitely doing that this year. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.